Okay, we're coming around the dryer now. And we can see the dehumidifier sitting down on the floor beside the dryer. As I bring this camera around, you can see that the dryer is still plugged in back to the 220. It has a 220 volt motor, so it's still plugged in. But the dryer is not attached to the vent. This room doesn't heat up even though this dryer doesn't send air to the vent. The hose that used to go to the vent is still connected to the dryer down here at the bottom. That's the, the discharge of the blower from the dryer. The discharge of the blower from the dryer is now fed to, through this tube that used to go outside the house, to the inlet of the dehumidifier, as you can see here. The outlet of the dehumidifier, uh, as you can see on the back of the dehumidifier, goes back to the dryer. This is a closed system such that you can see the outlet of the dryer or the inlet, excuse me, of the dryer is attached to the outlet of the dehumidifier. So the dehumidifier uh, circulates air through the dryer and the blower in the dryer circulates air through the dehumidifier. In this case there are two blowers. This all started with the heater failing in my dryer, so I didn't have to remove the heater and it just doesn't work anymore, so I'm not using any heat from the dryer. Uh, as I come back here, we can see that I can, in this case, turn on the humidifier. on the dehumidifier, it's circulating air through the dryer. <clears throat> I can then go to the dryer and turn on the dryer. Oops. And I'm dry. They're both running at one. In this case, if I turn off my dryer, I'm still circulating air with my dehumidifier, so it doesn't seem to care that the dryer is off. In a product, they'd all be integrated into one control, of course. In this case, they can operate because there's two blowers. The extra blower in the dryer helps to move extra air through my dehumidifier such that the compressor runs all the time. Uh, this thing operates probably at right around 140 degrees. Uh, wa it puts water into a bucket at the bottom that I have to put, I have to empty every now and then. It takes a little longer, but it's possible to do this in 115 volt and there's no vent. This product as we know it removes 200 cubic feet per minute of air from your home that you've paid to heat and shoves it outside. In the wintertime, if you run your dryer, expect your furnace to come on. Now, the dehumidifier is probably about a 400 watt device. I'm probably using about 100 watts of it from the motor over here, maybe more. 600 watts, 800 watts. The dryer by itself has a 5,000 watt heater. So, I pay to heat the house. Then my dryer takes this air that I pay to heat. It puts 5,000 watts of energy into it and shoves it outside. It needs a vent because it would heat this room up terribly. This device does not heat the room up because it puts the moisture in the bucket. 
This is about 500, 600 watts. This normally is about 5,000 watts. Three to 5,000 watts. This takes a little longer, but who cares? This wastes the energy in my home. This setup doesn't waste the energy. 